I do y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling godly. But you already know me, man. We getting straight to the point with no hesitation at all, bro. You already read the title. You already saw the thumbnail. So you already know what this video is going to be about. We're going to be talking about... Hold on, thumbnail. Dr. Squatch Soap. <laughs> We're going to be talking about the Dr. Squatch Soap. I think this is tied with Manscaped. Tim Sykes, the billionaire mentor, whatever his name is, and every other dude that swears e-commerce is just the almighty God on earth of getting rich for the most annoying YouTube ads ever. Like, dude, I get it. Your soap is cool. <laughs> like, I see so many ads on this thing. So I'm like, all right, I'm one of those people. I like to test things. My curiosity is through the roof, like, and I, I'm an Aries, so I'm a hard-headed. So I literally just like testing everything. That's the type of person I am. So I said, you know what? I'm about to buy this, and we're going to rock out. We're going to see how it is, all right? So let's get into it. When you first buy it, um, it comes in a package, comes in the mail. I mean, it's soap. I don't know what else you want me to say. <laughs> I mean, y'all want to know what it looks like? Y'all want to know what it looks like? All right, I got y'all. When you first get it, bro, it's literally just a bar of soap. And by the way, I don't know if I know I didn't say this already, but the version I got, I got the pine tar version. This is the one that people, this, this, this it's, it's the black bar, right? It looks like an all black bar on the ads, but yeah, it's a little cap in the ads. But uh, this is how it looks like. I'm not sure what else you was expecting, my nigga. Was you expecting superpowers? It's a, it's it's a it's a bar of soap. They love bragging about how good their soap is. How it's an all natural soap. So uh, we're off the ingredients. This soap contains olive oil, sustainable palm oil, coconut oil, shea butter, orange essential oil, pine fragrance, pine tar. Cause like I said. It's the pine tar version, if you haven't already seen it. Oatmeal, sand, activated charcoal, kaolin clay, and sea salt. So yeah, I don't know if y'all saw the little, um, let me show y'all again. Because probably, y'all yeah, probably didn't catch it the first time I showed it. But if you first get this soap, don't be alarmed. You're going to see like little bits and pieces of like white stuff. See that stuff in there? There's bits and pieces of oatmeal inside of the soap. I mean, don't be alarmed. It's not going to give you a rash or nothing. If you're allergic to oatmeal, I don't know how you're allergic to oatmeal. I feel bad for you. I mean, shit, if you are, then don't use the damn soap. But uh, if you aren't, it's not going to hurt you or nothing. I mean, it's cool or whatever. So what do I think about this soap? Let's start with the pros. The pros smells good, like they say in the ads. It smells good. It's soap. Done. Now to the cons. There's a lot of cons to this. Thing number one. If I'm going to be honest with you, this soap is some mid. The ad may hype up the ass and make it seem like it smells good. Some dude in the ad had the nerve to say, oh, I'm going to, I stopped using deodorant. Like, th this is not a replacement for deodorant. Still use deodorant. This this is just soap, all right? And the, to, be honest, to be honest with you, it smells good. Uh, The pine tar version, if I have anything to relate the smell of this to, it's like the pine smell from pine saw. Like, if y'all ever use pine saw, I know you're ethnic, bro. I know you're ethnic. Your parents have used pine saw before. So, yeah, <laughs> your parents have used pine saw before. That pine smell, you're going to smell it again. It's not nasty or nose stinging like it's a chemical smell. So, no, don't be alarmed. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's nothing wrong. No, it's not a bit. It's actually a present. It's, it's a pleasant smell. The problem with this is it's overhyped. It doesn't last that long. It only lasts like in the shower. Once you walk out of the shower, the smell is gone. And also the biggest con of this soap, the biggest con of this soap is this. I don't know if any of y'all have ever used Irish spring soap. Have y'all ever used Irish spring? Irish spring, Irish spring soap. Yeah, y'all used that before, right? Whenever you use that soap, because I'm, hey, bro, I know some, I'm, hey, anybody else who's Nigerian watching this, bro, I know you have used the Irish spring soap. Don't lie to me. I know you have. But when you use it, right? Y'all know whenever you use those soaps and be like drying out your skin in the shower, like you'll be taking a shower, but your skin feels dry and there's water running on it. Yeah, that's how this soap feels. I don't know why. I don't know what causes it. Maybe it's the oil, the kaolin clay or activated charcoal. I don't know what it is. But yeah, my, I don't like the feeling that my skin gets. It, 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 just, it just doesn't feel right in my opinion. And also it leaves my skin like mad dry. Like if I don't put body cream or lotion like Fifth, like five minutes after taking the shower, like I will be ashy as hell. Ashy as hell. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. If them boys throw me a sponsorship or they throw me like a discount code, <laughs> I might change my mind. <laughs> I might change my mind. Nah, I'm just playing, but I don't know if I could fully stand by something that I kind of don't want to use. Another big con of this soap, I'm not gonna lie to you. This whole took forever to come in. Like they said the shipping would be three to five days. I even paid for the extra shipping. 
Guess how long this whole took? Two weeks. You want me to wait two weeks for soap? You want me to wait two weeks for soap? It's, it's just not worth it, in my opinion. It's a good smelling soap. I mean, it worked. I just spit everywhere. Y'all probably just seen that. But I, <laughs> it's soap. It smells good. It works as soap should. The cons are it's overhyped. It really, it dries out my skin a lot. I don't know what is in it. I don't know what causes it. I don't know if they're lying about their ingredients. I don't know. I'm not claiming that they are lying. But I don't know what makes this dry my skin out. But this thing dries the hell out of my skin. And on top of that, bro, this thing took like two weeks to come in. I'm not about to wait two weeks for some soap, bro. I'm not. And by the way, for anybody who's gonna sit there and wonder, wait, wait, but but the soap's in the in the in the box. <laughs> How do you know what it's like? But you didn't use it. I bought two bars, meathead. I bought two bars of soaps. Obviously, one to use and one for a review. Would I recommend this soap? I'm not gonna lie to you. If you use like if you're somebody that kind of, how do I say this? If you're somebody that's, if you're like a 30 year old man that still uses Dove soap that your mom used to buy, like, I guess you could use this, but I have a much better alternative. What I prefer to use is, and what I currently use, Dove's Men Care, Clean Comfort. I'm not gonna lie to you, this is probably one of the greatest smelling body washes I've ever had in my life, like. I all smell good, bro. But yeah, I recommend, because like I said, bro, this channel's for me to put y'all on game, is it not? I'm putting y'all on game right now. So I recommend you use some Dove's Men Care, uh, Clean Comfort Body Wash, use the Clean Comfort one. If y'all use the Clean Comfort one, let me know, all right? Let me know. Let me know I'll put y'all on, bro, because this whole smells good. When I use this, my skin feels smooth. Like there are times, I've, I know I'm not. it's not a good idea to do, but I've taken a shower and not putting on body cream or no lotion or anything, and I don't become that ashy. Like that's the <laughs> like I that's that's the greatest thing about this. I don't come out completely ashy. On top of that, this soap is cheaper and it lasts longer. So answer this question for me. I'm not even trying to be a bad guy or anything like that, but be honest with me. I'm not trying to bash this soap, I'm not trying to bash their grind or anything like that. But would you really sit and wait two weeks for some soap that kind of dries out your skin that costs seven, eight dollars a bar of soap? And then on top of that, you got to buy like one of those soap saver things or else it's going to become all grimy and slimy on your freaking soap thing. So that's another extra couple of dollars. So you're not paying just seven dollars for soap. And then on top of that, bro, it took two weeks to come in and I paid for extra shipping. Or would you rather go to your CVS, Target, Walgreens, Walmart, Publix? I don't know where you live. I don't care where you live, but <laughs> but any store that you live near. Grab you some Dove's Man Care Soap for like six bucks. It smells good, it lasts longer, and it doesn't dry out your skin. What would you rather do? And by the way, the convenience of it being in a store. This took two weeks. I'm not waiting two weeks for soap, bro. So, my honest review, what I recommended, I recommend this. I recommend this. Personally, I'm not going to be the dude that sits here and fakes for a sponsorship. Like I said, hey, if Dr. Squash wants to spoil your boy some bread, no, no, no could change my mind but i mean if they come out with something else like something else different with soap maybe i might change my mind i don't know yet but uh yeah that's it for the review the soap's cool i wouldn't probably buy it again it dries on my skin i would not buy it again so yeah it's frank that's it for the review i don't know what else you wanted me to do but i'm gone